okay, I'm offered a full waiver to submit my work to academia, which I will, and this is contribute to the acceleration advancement of quantum science technology, submit an article for publication in Academia Quantum, and I'm going to submit an article. Now, it, it, it looks to me like they are going to give me a full waiver to submit my work. Usually it has to go through all kind of peer review and, you know, I, so really most people don't even bother trying to submit anymore because it never goes anywhere unless you say exactly what they're saying. I'm saying totally different than what they're saying. I have a new atomic model and this is it right here. It's dipole electron flood theory. Totally different and I, these are my papers that go back to when I first originally proposed this theory 50 years ago. And now I can prove my theory with experiments. And I will show you those right now. Okay, this is my evidence to support my dipole electron flood theory. And it is basically the same particles that Fermilab has found. All right, these are the Fermilab particles, the same as CERN. And they see a dark one, it's always the same, and they call it a fixed particle with a glowy edge. And then this one gets big and small and has no mass or weight to it. But this has all the weight and, and, and it's fixed. Now this goes back to 2013, and we discovered these same particles uh, approximately the same time, a little later than that. And here's what these particles do look like. All right, there's the ones from Fermilab, and here's the ones we found. But we use light. What they did is they smashed huge particles together like this. And when I say huge, this is a proton, that's a neutron. For me, that's huge, because that's 1,823 of these particles, all together in a ball. And they become stable at these certain quantities. I can't tell you exactly why. It's got something to do with the interaction between them, but boom, they lock in and stability at these periods, periodic table, hydrogen, helium, so forth. And, and all they are is bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger balls of these. And they become stable at certain places, but then they can give up one or two little pieces, or they can take on one or little two pieces. They're called isotopes. But inside of these protons is, is going to be the dark matter. There's where the dark matter is. It's inside. They've never seen it because it's inside of atoms. And the only times they can see inside of an atom is when they smash it apart. We can see because we're using light. And I'll explain all of this. We're using CMOS, which is complementary metal oxide silicates. It's just in a cell phone. And they can see these because every pixel has its own amplification. And it's, and it's CMOS. It can pick up every single um, frequency. And we're using light. So it's not damaging. Now, uh, CERN just upgraded to be able to use CMOS. And they came back online, I think, 2022 being able to see now using the CMOS. And um, so we can see all these things in, in extreme detail. And we can accelerate light. That's light accelerating because we use a Venturi. No additional energy required. And it split the light. So we not only have seen the photons, which are these, all right, that's a red one going fairly slow. The red goes pretty slow. The green goes much faster, but it's, it's the same particle. The, the same particle. It's just it's spinning much faster, and it glows green. And then we have blue also, which is this, and that's just a sizzler rocket ship. Coming through the Venturi fast, 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 slower, 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 and it's slowing down. So we know light can speed up and slow down. And now you can see that it is constructed of two dipoles. Before you couldn't tell. The green and the red you can see quite easily. And you can see that the neutrino phases over here are not quite to the photon phase. Here's the photon phase, full, full on photon full-on photon. I like that. 
this is a neutrino, this is a neutrino. They change from this to that to this. They're, they're, and they know that, they call them flavors. And all it is is, is they're backing up against each other, gaining, 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 gaining energy until boop, they pop up as a full photon. So this is, I'm, I'm not gonna get too deep, deep into this right now because this just supports what I've been saying. This is what they do. They smash these big particles together like this. Boom, and they get all of this debris. We started with light. They can see the light particles, the photons, but they're just in mixed in with all this other debris. We actually started with that. So then we end up seeing the red and the green and the blue and the black, which is the muon. All right, this just happens to be the red. You, they're going to be into separate, separated colors. And actually, we have some coming through the venturi at the same time. Um, showing the different energy levels. But anyway, this is the muon, the black particle, separates the electron neutrino. These two are the two basic particles. These are called Fermi, I mean, uh, uh, hold on a second. Yeah, right here. These are Dirac neutrinos. This is when they're completely, in the black and the white phase, this is when they're sort of hanging out turn it into a neutrino, neutrinos, but this is when they're completely separated, the black and the white, and I showed you that right here. Here's where they're sort of not really separated, and here's where they're really turned into the, you know, muon and, and uh, electron neutrino attached together. And then, of course, we separated them and broke them apart, which is fission and fusion. So this is my and my support for the things that I'm saying in my dipole electron flood theory, which is there. So I'm going to send this, and I'll see if they accept it and they'll publish it. But these are the particles, and these are the only two particles that exist. And these are the numbers of them, 1,823 I got somewhere. And I believe that's, I hope that's right. And the reason I'm putting that uh, is because of Millikan's oil drop experiment. And he, he came up with the, the weight, literally the weight of an electron. Now, if he was right, then it's going to be about 1823 if a proton is one. All right, so this is a proton. They call that one atomic mass unit. Well, I say it's 1823 dipoles equals one atomic mass unit. All right, and all the glowy white particles surround the black particle in the center, which is dark matter. And it accounts for gravity, because the white particles always want to come to, this, to, to Earth, which is saturated with dark particles. Electricity, bzzz, everything comes to Earth. Everything has a weight and it comes to Earth. And the reason is because of the magnetism of this to the dark matter, and Earth is the dark matter. That's why electricity, static, lightning, zip right to ground. This is ground. That's really the dark matter. And there's more dark matter in the Earth than there is these. That's why these want to be attracted down to the dark matter. So that's my theory. And the muons are dark matter and gravity. They've been searching for forever. All right, and it does change things. So that's, that's my little video to support my, my claims about dipole electron flood theory. Now, there is one other possibility, which is layering. Now, I believe this is actually what's going to happen inside of an atom, but it could be this where you still have your dark matter in the center, but then you have layers, positive and negative layers, but it's always going to be surrounded by the glowy particles. They will always be on the outside of every atom. So you're never going to see inside to see the dark matter. You're never going to see that. Well, I think it's this one here. All right, and these are the negative electron particles, the electron dipoles. That's the electron part. And these are the positive part, which are the muons. That's it, my friends. Let's see if they'll accept that article. Thank you. I love you all.